A C311 Lakota just came in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. That means Charger, three horse, 11 foot short wall. Uh, this is uh, what I generally call a 7311S, which means um, seven wide. It's actually 69 wide, but roughly seven uh, wide, um, three horse, 11 foot short wall with slide out. This is all aluminum, uh, seven six tall, and uh, it is built to last. Um, one of the almost unfortunate parts of looking at one of these uh, living quarter Lakotas is that you don't get to see all the build structure and all the extra, the extra meat of the structure that's underneath the interior skin because it's very impressive. I actually recommend if you're looking at one of these models, go look at uh, the photo shoot for one of our Charger goosenecks with a dresser, not a living quarter, and you will just be amazed at the structural integrity of this thing. Hands down, one of the very just beefiest structures I've seen in the industry with an outstanding uh, warranty as a result. Uh, this is a terribly rainy, drizzly day. It's, you might notice my umbrella kick in the shot from time to time. Uh, you know, this is actually a nice day for a trailer like this because if you are out for like a weekend trail ride or event and the weather's kind of cruddy like this, you're going to be really glad you got this nice living quarter of the slide out to go retreat to. Kind of a cool thing on this one, and keep in mind that this is sort of generic stock footage. Not every single um, uh, C311 or 7311S, whichever way you prefer to think of it, is going to look or be equipped exactly like this one. Sometimes we'll have like um, extruded aluminum side panels in the horse area or different things like that. Um, you know, maybe a different awning, I don't know, but uh, kind of keep in mind like things like this has double uh, drop down windows. You have drop down windows on both the head side and the rump side. Uh, superior airflow, superior access to your animals. Um, just, you know, more features, more function, it's amazing. If you uh, poke around on the inside, you may not even notice, but if you see how they tie these tie downs into the structure, it ties directly to the structure, the, the, the framework. I mean, it's, it's, an, it's pretty intense. I will say, if you can get a horse to rip one of those out, you've got bigger problems because you've got a pretty big bad horse pulling on this thing. Um, all aluminum lights, inside, outside, everywhere. All aluminum lighting. So you're not, or aluminum, I am sorry. LED lights, inside and outside. That's what I was going at. You're not going to worry about replacing incandescent bulbs. <laughs> aluminum lights. Holy cow, I've been doing <laughs> too many trailers. Um, the, uh, you see just the extra gusseting, like the way they reinforce the fender wells here. You could obviously use that just like a handy little step if you're uh, a little bit gravity friendly and you're reaching for these drop feeder windows. But uh, you, the idea there is just to keep those fenders from wobbling when exposed to high winds. Because this is not eight foot wide, the body does not encompass those fenders. The winds can still get to them. Um, the uh, you know three horse saddle rack back here. The everything is all aluminum, all removable. You see the little pull pins up top, so you can easily pull everything out, fold that down. Even the center divider bar can be removed if you are so inclined. If you check out our full picture tour, as opposed to just this video, you'll get a chance to see the um, the extruded uh, aluminum flooring that is under these. And actually, let me set down my umbrella, and I can show you that myself right now. So this is like heavy duty interlocking plank uh, cattle flooring basically, very heavy duty stuff. It's all of the just supreme fit and finish uh, that I find in Lakota that I like. We carry a lot of different brands here. Actually we have the number one and two uh, selling living quarter brands here, this being one of those. And this is, in my opinion, the better built and better finished of the two. Um, like they have a, a nice big uh, finish rail here on top of their kick plating and that's designed so that your horses can't rub on this and get sore spots You know, it's it's not a thin little edge that they're going to wear on if you look at where everything meets uh, If it's wood, it's perfectly flush if it's uh, aluminum like this everything is super welded You can't see it again because of the finish, but they actually have a double bulkhead wall That's just supremely uh, put together up here keeping this thing held together holding the structural integrity Again, you can't see it because we have lined and insulated the roof of this even back here in the horse area. So if the sun's beating down, it will help shield your animals from a measure of that. Uh, the uh, padding here is nice. It's not just a, a rubberized padding that'll wear. It's actually a nylon. The horses will slide on this a little easier and again, fewer rub spots because when they get sweaty, when they lean on this, their heat uh, will cause their body to produce a little bit of sweat and they'll rub sore spots on it. Now you don't have to worry about that. Uh, we have added a nice little stud wall here, a handy divider, and if the, you're using this as a two-horse trailer, the escape door up here gives you perfect access to what we call your stuff wall, where you're going to keep your extra tack and your, your hay bales and stuff like that. 
Um, handy pass-through door here will take you right up into the living quarter. And I love, love, love this uh, hickory finish that they have and everything. Man, is it sharp. It's just, it's so bright and comfortable and awesome. This is great. Now, they have extra closet space all over the place in here. So that if you are going for like a day-long event, you have two or three different rides. Uh, you know, you can um, wear a different outfit here and there. Now, if you're not super tall like me, they put this little handy control switch here. Push one button and the fan turns on. The lid opens itself like we're seeing here. So when you're done, push button one more time, closes itself, shuts itself off, easy peasy, that's all there is to it. And all the light switches are easy access to get to. Um, the extra interior height in here is extremely beneficial in living quarter space, really help opens it up. We've got a nicer porcelain stool, not a, a cheap plastic stool. Um, the, uh, you know, your sink area here, they did leave extra deep countertop space so you can keep like shavers and blow dryers and stuff back there. And you have a very generously sized medicine cabinet here that's, uh, you know, very deep. You see it goes past my hand. So you can keep a lot of stuff up there too. And the shower, actually, you can fit in. It is a, uh, a well-sized shower. And that's one of the benefits to going to a little bit bigger short wall living quarter like this is that you don't have to, uh, you know, worry about getting kind of stuffed into one of these things. Now, um, this uh, is seven wide wall, six, nine wide, which is normally narrow for a living quarter. And that's why we have this big sofa slide out here to give you all that room back and then some. So this kind of gives you the best of both worlds because it is six, nine wide. It's easy to tow. There's not, there's less wind resistance because, uh, you know, you don't have this big brick rolling behind you. Um, the Vinos on the gooseneck does help quite a bit in that respect. That's not uncommon across multiple manufacturers, though. Um, but the uh, the fact that you can see around it when you're going down the road is awesome. Um, the uh, kitchenette here is pretty rank and file, although I do like to point out the fact that it is a little bit easier to access all this cabinet space here because they do put bigger cabinets in this. That's this. I left this in here. This is the owner's manual packet for this. Uh, this, this is like... Uh, a little bit larger than legal size paper, and you can see that it still fits in here without getting crinkled up and shoved in. Um, all of your shades are going to be uh, nice pleated night shades, so if you do want to block out the sun, take a nap, or you want some privacy, you can do that in here. Um, moving forward, uh, the, uh, the gooseneck bunk area, nothing too special, too fancy, but um, I do like that they leave a couple open shelves up there, you know, maybe put a, a phone up there, an alarm clock, something like that. All of your windows will also open for ventilation as well. Um, looking, uh, just give you a quick tour back the other way here, and we'll be wrapping up pretty shortly. Thanks for joining us. The, uh, oh, sliding pocket door for the bathroom. I haven't talked about that. So you do have a nice, um, you know, hard enclosure pocket door for the bathroom there. And you do have, this is, this is a big deal. A lot of these living quarter trailers have a little small four cubic foot fridge, which starts here and goes down. This is a full six foot uh, refrigerator freezer and it's an RV style, meaning gas or electric. So if you're hooked up to shore power, like, uh, you know, park power, you can run this off 30 amp service. Uh, otherwise, you can kick it over to propane mode. And uh, if you're at an event, maybe like, uh, you know, a local speed or barrels competition or something like that, that doesn't have power, kick it on propane, have a cold pop right on hand, get out of the sun a little bit. And they do leave you a little entertainment center up here. But I mentioned earlier, it's the fit and the finish. I mean, if you start looking at all of your corners, everything is seamless the way this comes together. Uh, you know, look at your door construction. There's, I mean, just no gaps. Everything is perfectly flush the way it comes together. You can run your fingers over this and it feels like it's one piece. It's not, it's just, it's very impressive. Little corner cuts like this, they're doing better than anyone I really see out there. And especially at this price point, that's the thing. I don't, I don't expect this, or I expect to see this kind of construction on some of these $200,000 living quarters, but not something that's in like the 30s, 40s, 50s, which is where most of your Lakotas are found. And and the fit and the finish, again, is is equal to or, su or surpassing that of some of these extremely high dollar horse trailers. And it's because they have, they build fewer trailers per week with significantly more people at Lakota. There's more people putting more time and man hours in here. They don't make the money per trailer some companies make, but they do make a better trailer than a lot of companies make. I mean, just look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous right there. Give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe and happy trails. Have some fun.